Hello and welcome to Deck Out. You know, that show that, like, I made back in the day? Today we're playing a deck that's actually very familiar with me. Speedroy, but with cash tier right now? I, I don't know why people did this, but go right ahead, I guess. Speedroid as a deck is mostly just like revolving around like just synchro spamming everything out of your extra deck previously. And Kashira really likes XZing with them, but Kashira is all level sevens, and most tuners in Speedroid are actually level three. So you have an easy way to go into Baron before you go into any real crazy plays with Draco Zack or Rubber Band Shooter or any of the clear wings. You're seeing as I'm not talking much about the Kashdira part of the stack because it's pretty simple. Fenrir, Unicorn, Scareclaw, Field Spell, and Birth. It's a pretty tiny, pretty simple Kashdira engine. It really doesn't do much in comparison to the rest of the deck. You're seeing that instead of playing Droll, we're playing Ghost Mourner in this list compared to the German Nationals, but this is pretty much just the same deck. I'll give a quick rundown of everything that's happening in this deck. Kashdira Unicorn is a really good card to just throw you into the game gives you a birth to go off right at the gate and gives you two new bodies because of that Fenrir being a search to unicorn or its second self being just really good recursion of course it's going into Kashtira Scareclaw which again really good because it can get you into more plays Tether Wolf you can see is actually the one card combo into Royal Band Shooter being able to summon a token off itself that are both wind Double Yo-Yo is a really good activation part of your combo I wish we were playing two but I was not. Spooky Midoshi Viper is a really good card to reveal off the top of your deck, equal to the amount of wins that you already control, and add one of those cards to your hand. Really good card. Speedway Terror Top, there is a reason it is limited. It's not this deck. It's a really good way to add a Speedway from deck to hand, which back in the day was just three Terror Top, three Tack of board. If this card got unlimited, nothing would change. It's just rank three decks would be a little bit better. Did Din Daikaduk being a really good recursion engrave, card turbo being an attack booster engrave, but also being able to special summon itself, really good. Takatom Borg, as I just said, really used back in the day with Terratop to be a special summon for itself. Ash Blossom Joy Spring, obviously it's here for that reason alone. Ghost Bell, same reason, and Ghost Mortar and Moodlet Chill, all really here just because they exist. Most of the deck besides this is just kind of like ways to get into the combo itself in the extra deck we have two revenge shooters but revenge shooters main effect is that it banishes a wind from your extra deck to be able to choose two monsters in your main deck one goes to your hand one goes to the grave and then it has a second effect to normal summon a wind again both really good effects and definitely help out the deck a lot one donner one win one desperate doom eagle this is more here because if your opponent just so happens to negate your Rubber Band Shooter in some way, turns out, just summon a different monster, and then there you go, you can just go into this guy instead. Throwing off the graveyard for two elements, and just being a general problem for most decks. Draco Sack is the best way to go into Rubber Band Shooter, when you only have Cash Tears in your hand. The Zeus is also here. Sardis Charge Warrior, really good card. VW Juju, of course, just kind of here is more discard fodder for the effects of Rubber Band Shooter. FA Don Dragster, really good card. Just being a spell negation, spell and trap negation. When Pegasus at Ignister is the actual card you'll usually use to activate Rubber Band Shooter's second effect. When Pegasus is more so just a discard fodder to Rubber Band Shooter. Clear Wing Synchro Dragon is a really good negation, but also can usually be discarded for the effect of Rubber Band Shooter. You'll see that this deck just kind of revolves around this card, repeatedly just activating its own effect again and again and again. Clear Wing Fast Dragon is also a really good card if you just want to function. And Baron is your true boss monster. The side deck's just generic side deck, stuff, side deck stuff. But let's get into the games and I'll just show you what I mean. Our actual main game here is against Dark World. And just kind of shows off what I mean by saying that, like anything with like board breaking potential just kind of kills off this deck. Going over a Banish Shooter, banishing a card, getting a Terra Top, normal we'll summoning it again to add a Pookie Midoshi. And then I can do special summon the Pookie Midoshi, Pookie Midoshi, reveal top three. Add a Crosby, I guess. Birth brings back Unicorn. Going to Fast Dragon. Crosby for three. Add back the Field Spell. Field Spell effect. Add a Fenrir for Recursion next turn. And pass. As you can tell from this board already, we have a Extra Deck Negate and a Extra Deck Banish. A really good combination of cards in most situations. Unfortunately, we're against Dark World. 
Spell attempt to Ash Blossom and Genta. Get the spell then vanish something from the extra deck. So let's just activate the field spell anyway. Genta brings us back. Use our boy. We'll duster us. And Nessie. Nessie bring back Thunderbird. God damn it. Thunderbird, Bigfoot, Bigfoot. Get rid of Unicorn. Bring back Graffa. Mourner attempting to cover Graffa. Breaks our entire board. Just the entire board is gone. the Dark Roller, Fenrir. Get a Trick Attack. Let's get two tokens. Quirk Shooter. Get our band, I mean. And then, Kuki Midoshi. This did nothing. I had a better board if I just kept the fucking two monsters on board. Yono. Dark World. Just being Dark World. Put the Zeus, they'll set one, we'll pass back to us, we get fucking nothing. Tether Wolf, so the token, go to battle, Tether Wolf, so tribute a token. The monster do 3k damage, attempt to in phase, and hope that they have nothing. Unfortunately, they have a second Nessie, some of the Nessie. Draw, Silva, Silva effect, and to again to add a new gate. Gate, turn Silva back to hand, summon Rainbow. Gates banished, discard, and that, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah. Hopefully that last game kind of proved my point where I'm saying that, like, the deck does a lot. It's really good at what it does. It's just what it does is so fucking mid, I cannot see why you would play this. Going first against this deck now, which is hero combo, I guess. Going Fenrir, Fenrir at Fenrir, birth. First Frosty for six, just hoping for something here to do anything. Ah, card turbo or ding ding would work. Blood card turbo. The unicorn, card tuba, special summon stuff out. Going to trigger that, trigger sack effect, summon two tokens. First, bring back Finrear, going to Baron, going to Band, add Terra Top, or Band, summon Terra Top, Terra Top, add Attack a Tomborg. Attack a Tomborg, use its back, summon to Midoshi. Cookie Midoshi, reveal four. Uh, I guess that should work. I'm going to the crystal clearing. Look at how good this board is. But it's here. Going to Fire Point Lady. This is what I mean by saying it's a weird combo deck. Baron, King of their Tactics, the Foolish, a Break Destiny, something D Force. Going to a Soul Day. Soul Day adding Honest Neos. And then Spirit of Neos. Soul Day sending the equip to summon Hero Kid. Hero Kid will summon two more Hero Kids. We'll deforce, we'll go spell. We'll add the equip back to their hand. And then they will just run out of time. This is the only game we won. I wish I was joking. It it was that bad today. So those were the games, and I wish this deck was so much better. The deck is really good. It just falls under the trap of a Nibiru target, plus just being stuck in the winds really hurts this deck. But I think this is more just because Synchro is, in the noun sense, our entire concept struggling in this game. Our best deck right now is Minadium, and Minadium also struggles as a Nibiru and Dark Ruler target. But if you know how to make this deck any better, make sure to comment down below and tell me. I would love to know. I wish this deck was so much better. I played it back during my first ever regionals, tied the Kashira apart. Pure speedrun was so fun to me back then. It still is today. It just gets board broken every game it plays. But I'll see you all next time. Bye.